hugs and kisses on all my toes. Hey, it is Tuesday, and I'm excited because it's time to read The Greatest You. Oh my god. Yes, I love Trent. Not like that, because I love my husband, but I like Trent. He's good. I'm literally restarting my whole computer. So if you hear a ding, 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 I'm restarting my whole computer because it was going slow and I saw somebody post something on Facebook and I thought it was funny and I tried to share posts and it won't let me share a post and I also tried to not just share a post but send a GIF and comment on the post I wanted to share to my page and it wouldn't let me do it so so I thought if I reform my light computer it may work okay number two communication is everything yes I'm sweaty yes it is hot in my house waiting on the AC man to come figure out I think put free on I think I need free on something's wrong with it get my AC back up it was going in the middle of the night last night it went <clears throat> so gotta get it fixed because it's hot living in Texas you have hot weather hot weather not weather whatever Anyway, finishing. While day and night is a great and can do lots to keep every long-term relationship feeling new and exciting. There's something emotional to keeping a relationship strong that you need to do way more often than once a month or even once a week. Communicate. Communication is the oxygen to your relationship. Without it, it will done when I talk about communication I'm talking about it's on a number of levels as I really you and your partner need to communicate about the big things if there's a problem with the kids the two of you need to talk to make sure you're on the same page and familiate a plan for me, when my stepdaughter started dating a boy, she would bring the boy over. And my husband didn't want to believe me. He thought I was just trying to start trouble. She was in the bedroom having sex with him. And I tried to tell my husband, I said, uh, hello, your daughter's in there with a the boy and she's naked and he's naked. Uh, what are you going to do about it? He ignored it. And then finally I said, hello, they're naked, they're screwing. Finally he got up and said, uh-uh. And they were no allowed a longer to come home and get in bed and take a nap. They would have sex, get tired, and lay down and take a nap. And he said no. Whew. So that's that. <laughs> if there are um, seriously money issues. Wait. Yeah. Serious money issues. Or even just... Uh, semi-serious money issues you need to discuss these and figure out the way of them if you're thinking about quitting your job or really want to move to a different state there are clearly things you need to discuss at length of with your partner if you feel that you can't discuss things like this with your partner you may not have as much of a partnership as you think you have another thing is when my stepdaughter she was bringing drugs in the house and i was telling my husband she's smoking pot she's bringing drugs i did call the cops on her they did nothing about it they didn't even go in the room and they didn't even take the drugs out of the room she had i found them i took them i flushed them down the toilet and threw the other stuff in the trash and busted the pipes that she had it's bad when you don't when one person knows more about like she's my stepdaughter so I know more about my husband's daughter than he knows about his own daughter that's kind of sad right it's just like he thought he knew more about my 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 two boys more than I did I know 
I'm like this with my boys. They tell me everything and I tell them everything. So when a lot of things happen, I tell them, hey. And they tell me everything. Mom, I'm going to McKenzie's house, okay? My son would leave to go to his girlfriend's house. I'm not coming back. Okay, finally, he didn't have to tell me he wasn't coming home because I already knew he wouldn't be back. And when my, my makeup and my notebooks and my pens and pencils come on missing, if my boys took something of mine, they let me know, Mom, I borrowed this. I'll give it back. Okay. She doesn't. She took and didn't say nothing. I had to go find it. But anyway, get back to the book. But when I talk about communication, I'm also talking about the little things, asking your partner about her day, and really actually listening to hold on one second. Listening to a response, send the message that you're interested in what she's doing. And that you're always available to offer an ear or to throw in your support by making a habit of checking in with each other. You make it clear that the line communication is always open between you. It's so great practice in the same way that we talk about practicing our championship mind setting and last champion champion and that oh not champion last chapter when the practice kept our communication open at all times it makes it easier to have the big conversations or the through the conversations when you need to have them because you're always in touch give me one second somebody's knocking at the door Sorry about that. My neighbor was knocking at the door to ask me a question. He's moving, so he has some antique furniture he wanted to see if me and my husband might want. And I said, yes, what my husband said? No, we're not. Anyway, failure to communicate at the little level is my opinion. One of the biggest problems most relationships have, rather than talking about the day at dinner, check your phone or watch TV interested, you assume that if the other person wants to tell you about something happening in this life, he'd bring it up so you don't ask. When your partner asks about what happened at work today, you respond with nothing or the usual instincts of finding something to share. And just participating communication, but you're in better place when communication is central. Participating, not talk about a little thing. Oh, communicate, which is what you're doing when you don't talk about the little thing. Precise you to claim, claim up when you get into a situation where the two of you really need to talk. My husband comes home from work. I'm usually in the bedroom laying in the bed because he comes home from work and he lays in the bed and rests his feet, which is understandable. You know, a lot of husbands and wives will come home. Some wives will come in and say, oh, I gotta cook dinner. Just let me relax in the tub for a few minutes and then I'll get dinner started. Or some women come home from work and or some men you know for me when my husband comes home dinner's cooked dinner's done ready to eat and i'm in the bed watching laying in bed relaxing my legs watching tv just you know with the fan and everything going good and i sometimes we keep the ac off i do during the day because i want fresh air coming in my house so and i'm always in and out the house doing yard work and things like that so i leave it like that but my husband and I ask him, well, because he works at Walmart and Automotive. Well, and I usually, when Automotive, I don't think it's open right now, and I usually ask him, and I'll say, did you have a lot of cars today at work? Was there any cool cars that come in, like Mustangs or Convertibles or Ferraris or Porsches or 
And he jeeps like mine. And I usually ask him that. And he goes, no, not really. He says, my lady come in with the Volkswagen Beetle, but we can't do anything with Beetles. And I'm like, okay. I said, that's good. Sorry. I'm like, okay, that's good. And we go on and on and on and on and on. Then I ask him other questions about things. Like today we had a good conversation on Facebook Messenger. We gotta have everything, honey, to make your so you can make barbacoa again. I made barbacoa once and he loved it. I made it again and it wasn't as good as the first time I made it. I need the recipe. What all do we have? I said, we have everything to make it except the lemons and the lemon juice. Lemon juice or lemons. I mean, not lemons, but limes. Lime juice and limes. He goes, okay. All right, that's fine. Anything else we need? And I said, pick up some milk because, you know, we got to have a gallon of milk. Pick up some milk and, you know, a lot of things. And we communicate through Messenger and Facebook when he's at work, if there's anything at the store that we need. He don't pick up the phone and call me. He'll text me and say, is there anything we need at the store before I come home? Or if I'm cooking and I was like, hey, I'm trying to finish dinner and I need this, I would text him and he'll pick it up at Walmart. The most significant reason that communication is so important is because of what you produce. When you fall to communicate with your partner, assumptions. When there's a communication distance, it's control. And when distance is created, an assumption telling to fill that gap. If you aren't okay. If you are not in the habit of staying in touch, okay. if you're not in the habit of satisfying and touch of both little things and the biggest thing, when the two of you start assuming things about the other, he just assumed that you don't care about he being doing all day. You assume that he has nothing meaningful to say to you. You guess that the other person thinks about important issues or about your future together rather than knowing what is what happens if you talk about it regularly and amazed at how many people tell me that they had no idea what their partner was actually thinking when an issue came along and messed up the relationship, that's because they were assuming what the other person was thinking than rather than knowing. I've seen a lot of Lifetime movies and a lot of things, and it shows. If you're not communicating with your spouse, uh, you're talking to them, but they're not answering back. There's been times when... I was thinking in my head, I had in my head, my husband's cheating on me, my husband's cheating on me, which I did think. And he was texting somebody on the phone. I didn't know who he was texting, who he was playing with, blah, blah, blah. And I found out he was actually texting his daughter and my brother-in-law. So I didn't come off the wall blah, 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 and accuse him of cheating. I just wanted to know what was up. But one day, now he's got a password on his phone, which I understand because he says when he puts it in his pocket, it just, one day it just randomly called me and I said, hello, what do you need, honey? He says, my phone's acting up. It just dialed you. I said, get a new phone. Well, anyway, I know now I have looked in his phone. I've seen in his phone, but I haven't looked. He's got pictures of. couple of the girls in his phone which kind of irritates me um he adds girls on facebook but i'll go look at their pictures and i'll say um hello have you seen this girl or i'll make a lie i'll lie to him and say 
There's this girl on Facebook. Actually, she uses Facebook and Instagram. She's trying to add me. And she asked me to go look at her website. And I did. And she was nude. And he go, really? He said, wouldn't have known at her. I said, well, I went and looked at her website. And I didn't mean to add her, but I looked at her website. And I said, and then I'll come up and I'll say, I can't stand. And I'll say her name. And he'll go like. And then he'll go in there and delete the girl off of Facebook. Or sometimes he won't delete her. He'll leave her on there and I'll go see her. And I'll add her on Facebook and then uh, I'm not going to tell you what I do then, what I call her. And But in my brain, I call her bad names. But I did tell one girl that he added on Facebook. I said, you know, he's married to me, right? So you're not going to get nothing out of him or nothing from him. And she says, oh, I'm not after sex. I said, no, but he's after looking at hot women because I'm a hot mess. I said, he thinks you're hot and sexy. He doesn't think that about me anymore. Because I'm fat. I'm getting fat. But he understands now. But he only did it. And he told me, I only did it because I thought you were cheating. I said, I thought you were cheating on me. I'm not cheating on you. I thought you were cheating on me. So we squared that away. And we ain't doing that. The most significant reason... That communication is so important is because of what okay okay oh I think I've already read that okay I've already read that one um, you guess at the other person thinking about important issues about okay I read that one too had no idea what the other partner actually is thinking the issue came along with an issue of her relationship that's because they were assuming that the other person was thinking rather than knowing it. Okay. There's a very few cases of assumptions are better than knowing. Assuming your spouse meant Cool Ranch Doritos when she asks you to pick up chips from the grocery store is probably okay. But assuming that your spouse is totally fine with your having living situation with when she's apparently wants to get out of the city and led to some serious heart break down the road. Lots of her us prefer to make an assumptions because we don't really want to hear what that actually is going on. But even with what actually is going on is going to hit you between the eyes. And if you haven't been communicating, you're doing to be in for a huge headache. But if you make it a habit, communicate everything from what to have for dinner to what to do with your child failing grades becoming easier to navigate together. Okay. Just like my husband's been telling me, uh, my stepdaughter, she worked at the nursing home down the street from us. And she lost that job. She basically quit the job. She was babysitting and got fired. And he says, check it out. Go get one of them jobs. You can get one of the jobs. And I'm thinking babysitting, making, uh, she was making $150 a week babysitting. And I'm like, yeah, I could do $150 a week babysitting. And when she worked at the nursing home, she was bringing home a 400 and something dollar check every two weeks. And I'm like, I can live with that too. And I told my husband, I said, yes, that's making money. Yes, that's money to help out around the house. So... I'm supposed to be going to this place and checking it out, and I will probably be doing that, but I was going to let my husband actually take me and I check it out. <laughs> Cause they were, but I'm also going to talk to my cousin. I'm going to give my cousin a call. I have something to see if he wants, and let him tell them if they need somebody to babysit or somebody to help work at the nursing home, I'm free to do it. All right, guys. 
Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Please just give me a 30-day free trial. Try it out. See how you like it. Until next time, guys. I love you and bye.